Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode. Story of Seasons, Pioneer of Olive Town. <laughs> that festival was fun. Well, at least she has a little bit of. Um, uh, what uh, one say? Um, diversity? I guess that's the word. Yeah, sure was a workout. Alright. Oh, it's a good day. Which means I can actually let my animals out today. Ain't that great? Bet they've been itching. I doing them milk nook. Doing good? Yeah. But do good. Because I'm gonna replace your mouth. What a horrible thing to tell one, right? I'm gonna replace your mother. Yeah, I feel kinda of terrible about the stuff I'm doing. In a sense. I still feel like I should just be in a, like a really good relationship with them in order to get them to increase their... Um, value? That sounds wrong too. The quality of their products? Yeah. That sounds better. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it. But it is the increasing of quality. I still don't like that I will have to replace them just in order to do that. Just that part of me just screams, this is so wrong. And why are you doing it? Alright, here we go. I mean, I haven't even replaced that um, black and white cow. My first one. You can never replace your first one, right? It's impossible. Alright, let's uh, sell some stuff off here. Oh, uh, that last one I kind of want to keep though, because that is good food. And we don't get rid of good food, we get rid of bad food and mediocre food. such a snob even listening to myself I feel like I'm a snob all right let's start traveling to all kinds of places of the earth get myself some good old-fashioned avocados all right let's keep going Alright, got myself some mangoes. I wish I could put up some signs by the trees though. So that I kind of know uh, what level they are. Oh, did I really only get one heart spinach? I got five. I don't know how many I needed. Well, 
I did think it was a bit more than that. Yeah, let's go to Horfrost. Oh, for good. That was what I needed too. Cool. Uh, Earth Square Village. Oh, I didn't even see ya! It's blending in so well with the grass. Alright. Well, this spinach will be turning into seeds. And I know I got one milk here that uh, fits in rather well here. Piece away. All right, sweet. There we go. And I'm just gonna take a trip into town. I just remembered I should have checked my greenhouse too and see if there's more stuff that is done. Uh, I just wanna see how many of these uh, spinach did I need? The heart. Oh, it was five. Awesome. Done it. Alright, and I need five of those. I got one. And eggplants, leeks, nappa, melon jam. What the heck is melon jam? Sounds weird. All right, uh, yeah, greenhouse. All right, none of the stuff here is done just yet. Once I got some sweet potatoes growing. Allow me some sweet potatoes. Okay. Just go around along right Pick some stuff up. And we're going to shell them off. So, let's see. All right, we also need to go and see our flower girl. Oh, I think that has a double meaning. <laughs> That's your. I think I heard it in some other sentences too that aren't too. Family friendly. 
But I just mean a girl that takes care of a flower shop. Dear Lyn, it's been a while since you moved to the countryside. Countryside. How have you been? We're the same as ever. Guess what? Michaela finally got the boyfriend she always wished for. Between that and you being gone, I'm the only one left at our Saturday tea parties. It's a little lonely doing it all by myself, but I'm going to keep holding them anyway. Let me know if you're ever in the area. Your best friend, Sandra. And that's almost a little sad. Uh, oh, uh, welcome. Are you looking for a certain type of flower? Hmm? What was I just doing? Now? Uh, I was reading a letter from one of my old friends in the city. I've been here for some time now, but she still sends me letters every once in a while. Anyway, if you'd like, I could pick out some flowers for you. What kind would you prefer? Really bright ones. Pleasant and su suitable ones. Drop a dead gorgeous ones. Uh, I would say pleasant. Okay, please wait here a moment. Do these look alright? My bucket making skills aren't as good as grandpa's. But I hope it suffice. Oh, by the way, Kicker, I heard that you work on a farm. Out of curiosity, what type of flowers bloom there? Uh, <laughs> sorry for asking such a strange question out of the blue. Pressing wildflowers is one of my favorite pastimes, so I couldn't help but ask. With pressed flowers, I can capture an important moment in nature and share them with others. It's like a diary of the seasons. Or of nature itself. I send those flowers to my friend who lives in the city. Oh goodness, I'm rambling on about myself, aren't I? I'm sorry about that. Well then, I'll see you later. Thank you for brightening up my day. I actually didn't do much. I guess she isn't even here. Like she is down at the general store. Or at least I think. Yeah. Lynn's bouquet. <laughs> oh, cool. I actually got it. It can be placed on kind of cup in your house. Okay, that is pretty special. Hey, Lynn, can we talk? <laughs> your shell has gotten pretty big now. I'll have to think about which flower would suit her best. Oh, well, here. <laughs> Thank you. I've been looking forward to this forever. I really like this. I'm glad to give her something that she likes. Alright, so that gives us like one fourth of a heart. 
So I'm guessing bouquets are kind of good when it comes to her. Let's uh, sell those off. Well, I will need to put that up there. Oh, that looks so pretty. I think like she did a great job. we go. Oh, a little bit of woolen yarn here though. I guess I could keep that. I don't have too much of that. So I guess that's good. See, I think I planted some more sunflowers, though, didn't I? They should be in the greenhouse. I think these are actually sunflowers. Hmm, I wonder if she actually likes these, then. I have a lot of these uh, wildflowers growing around here. I think I can actually make a bouquet with wildflowers. I wonder if that's something she would actually like more. Look at me, trying to impress a girl. Ain't that the story of life? Lemon marigold. Oh yeah, that's some wild lilies. Those are like, not worth a damn. I'm just looking for wildflowers. More lilies. Gotta say, I'm finding quite a few here. All right, and there's a sunflower too. Sugarcane. Sugarcane is good stuff. I just wish you could, like, uh, plant those. I mean, farming sugarcane ain't exactly a foreign thing. It's something that you actually can do. Damn it.
All right, let's get ourselves some sugar. All right, and here is another one. Moondrop flower. Well, I guess I could check it out and see what kind of uh, wildflowers I can pick up or make a bouquet of. All right, well, I would say the time is flying by and uh, we should probably start heading to bed. And I feel like this was a somewhat productive episode, so probably ended off here too yeah 22 almost 23k pretty good pretty good all right well i'm ending off this episode here i do hope you've enjoyed it and i hope to see you all in the next one until then bye bye